Hi, Mike here, Pension Pond Permaculture. It's a two level A frame, so you know the basement stairs will come up, will come up like right there, boom. But then the second floor ends up being if the staircase would be just too steep, um, and that could be problems for young and old. So uh, we're going to build a, um, a proper, more, much more proper staircase. The second floor is supported by eye joists. These are, these are about 18 feet long and they're 12 feet, I mean it's 12 inches wide. And what I've done is cut out a, this is two feet on center, the rafters. So as you can see, I have a six foot, a six foot gap right now. Five sixteenths diameter GRKs that are four inches long each. There's six of those plus a five eighths for the bolt. That's an eight inch bolt. It was big daddy. So I moved the uh, the the eye joists that were on these two beams over to here in the last couple of days. Made all these gussets. Came up with the design. Um, you know, reinforced everything. These are also the same GRKs in here. Had to make a sandwich if you could see that up there to fit between. So that's uh, actually three and a half inches of, um, of plywood. So the, the hard part is, is now I gotta cut through this floor. It's a six foot span. Um, I have a bridge upstairs. Let's go upstairs here, up, up ladder. I'm working on the upstairs part. So this, a little scary up here. Um, I can't step on the floor here. Just can't do it. But I did make a bridge, so we'll cross that. Ooh, yeah, I can feel it sag just a little bit. A little bit of sag. Um, and I'm just really afraid that I'm gonna step on that. I'm gonna forget and I'm gonna do something and, and just like... So, I'm gonna cross the bridge. Whoa! Okay. All right, so, uh, so that's what I gotta do. I'm gonna do the, make the laser measurements, double them up, make sure they're right and um, and scribe the floor from underneath and then I'm gonna just drill up in some points, pop, pop, and then make my lines up here. And I think I'm just gonna go for cutting the hole. First of all, I have to put strapping underneath, well, after I measure, I have to put strapping underneath to catch the plywood as it falls. Uh, so first, I wanna, uh, I wanna just really know where the center line is here and there. What I want to do is um, I need it to match exactly what's going on down on the floor. In this dimension. Here I'm just going to obviously cut right on the lines of these beams. These two holes, I'm going to be cutting across a line there, but from above, and I'll be able to pick up those holes on the top and get perfectly straight line.
So that gives you a nice just need to drill those holes over here and uh, I'll be ready to go upstairs and cut some, cut some holes. Oh! Gotcha! Yeah, okay, so it's time for strapping. I'm gonna put strapping but strapping across horizontally to catch anything that might fall. I'm gonna bring some lights up there and uh, put the strapping on now and uh, see what happens here. to step in this area here. I gotta find my hole I drilled. Here, here it is. There's the one. Yeah, you can, look at that. I think I'm just... This line and then got banked around the corner and uh, got this far. So I'm coming up to this where the seams are in the in the uh, tongue and groove. I'm wondering if that will then fall out. So I think if I strategically were to cut here, which is again the intersection of the tongue and groove, uh, maybe I can get this guy to come out. Also, real quick, I want to check downstairs and see where the line's coming through. All right. It's really, really close, like a millimeter, for those of you that use the metric system. So here we go. I just have to cut the corner. Oh my God, I just stepped on it. I did it. I knew I would. So, you don't need a degree in physics to guess that this would fall now. Um, and I think if I were to bang it, it would fall. 
so. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice and weak. Strapping worked strappingly. 